Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, my name is Marina Christensen. I create videos about low waste lifestyle, veganism, fitness and health in general and in today's video I want to talk about zero waste bathroom swaps no one talks about. And if you're interested in more videos like that, make sure to click the like and subscribe button down below, hit the little bell that you always get notified when I upload a new video. And yeah, to straight start with the video, it's not that no one talks about it, of course not, but we should talk about it way more than we do at the moment. And I have three swaps for you, which are a really good invest in investment, you know, because um, first of all, these items do not cost a lot, and second of all, you can use them over and over and over and over and over again, and you do not have to buy the disposable disposable ones anymore, and there you have to buy them over and over and over again makes sense, right? The first thing I want to talk about are Q-tips. Whether you're using it for your ears or for removing makeup. There are two kinds of Q-tips as far as I know that are reusable. One is a little metal stick which is for your ears. So instead of putting the Q-tip into your ears and you know like actually pushing the stuff into your ears or for me it's, I like to, I have some piercings on my ears and I like to clean, or I liked, it. I did clean my ears with q-tips, like to get everywhere, like here, underneath the piercings and because I have a tunnel, I removed the tunnel, the piercing itself and, you know, clean it with it and I used it all the time and then I found these metal ones which are actually made to you know clean your ears inside which you can do with it but be careful be really really careful when you do it and don't stick it too far into your ear you shouldn't do this anyways but with these metal ones it's, it looks like a little shovel in the front. You really can, you really get everywhere and you remove the old skin cells or the dirt in your ear and you can use it over and over again until it breaks and it actually should not break because it's metal. And I think I got mine for under one euro and 50 cents. And that's nothing in my opinion and since I use this instead of the disposable q-tips my ears are much cleaner and I only use it once a week maybe twice but in general I only use it once a week after showering when the skin is nice and soft and it's amazing and when I use the q-tips uh, the standard q-tips I used it almost every day because I couldn't remove the skin the skin cells properly. The other Q-tip is for your makeup, more for your makeup removing because they look like the cotton Q-tips you can buy and they come in different forms. So one looks like a drop, one is um, very pointy. One is like the Q-tips you know, like this oval, oval, oval shape and uh, some have like little, little spikes to them. I guess these are for your ears. I'm not sure. I don't own one. I just own the metal one because I do not remove my makeup with uh, Q-tips. But these are in my opinion an essential you should have at home instead of the disposable ones. I still have disposable ones at home which I use like I don't actually use them anymore but I still had 
some when I got the metal one and of course I do not throw it away without any sense so sometimes I use it but in general I don't and the ones I have ha um, are recyclable or compostable because they are made out of pure paper and not there are ones that have these plastic stick in the middle which I absolutely would recommend you to not buy anymore because this is pure waste and the second thing I want to talk about is your teeth care I have a full video on my teeth care health routine i will link it here and down below that you can check it out and there i will also talk about this item a little bit more so i just want to pick it up kind of and it's regarding floss instead of buying the standard floss which comes in plastic packs and i don't know what the floss is made out of but i guess it's some kind of plastic with wax on it I don't know I never got into this but instead of buying this buy compostable ones there are a lot of brands as far as I know you can get in health stores and nowadays also in standard supermarkets or organic supermarkets in zero waste stores and then you can get like a little glass container and there is it in there's the floss inside and the floss is around a, a paper tube or so I don't I'm not really sure I have to say but I think it's some kind of a paper tube where the floss is around and it's absolutely natural and you have no waste at all and you only have to get this little glass container one time and what I do use which you also have to be very careful when you're using it yourself is like a sticky pokey thing again i don't know what it is called like i don't know what the name of it is in any kind of language but i know that um dentists do use it to take a look at your teeth and um it's like a metal stab in front which is like a little hook and you can clean your teeth in the back, in the front, in between and mine is super old, the back part is plastic and it already got you know, used off but, you still, but, but I still can use it so until it breaks I will use it and you have to be really careful because you can ruin your gum with it or you can hurt your gum with it so really slowly step by step get forward and get yourself used to it and the last thing is about the washing machines first of all i guess you already know soap nuts you heard a lot about it um i you, you, i use soap nuts we use soap nuts for years now and we're very happy with it but when you have a nice dirty spot somewhere soap nuts not always get it out completely and there I can recommend a nice easy simple quality soap I will leave the soap I use down below and you just rub it in you, you wet the item the or just the spot and then you rub the soap inside and it's like these cleaners you can buy but much more sustainable and much more eco-friendly and you can also cut a little bit of soap and throw it into your washing machine while washing make sure to straight wash the item after you rub the, sw rubbed the spot with soap because when it dries it was and it, uh, there was no sense in doing it and then regarding the smell the outdoor i can recommend a little bit of baking soda putting a little bit of baking soda into your washing machine while washing the items this removes the outdoor and also makes it a little more cleaner and the large tip regarding washing machines is the outdoor and also the cleanness of the washing machine itself this is simply made by 
baking soda again which removes the odor and citric acid which is a powder and when baking soda and citric acid comes together it reacts and can remove the odor and also the lime which had built up inside just let the washing machine run on its own with a quick program and washing program and when you do this every now and then the lime is gone, the smell is gone and in the end your clothes will be cleaner already and your pipes are clean and everything is clean and it's just a win-win situation and these were all three items all three that were in the alley actually three items but all three things I wanted to talk about which I think we should talk about more often and I hope these tips will help you maybe you will try some of these Leave me a comment down below what you think we should talk about much more when it comes to a low waste lifestyle, a zero waste lifestyle. Because I'm always happy to get new information, to get new ideas of what I could change in my life. And maybe you can help with your tips, others too. And that is what it's all about. We should help each other, right? So, thank you so much for watching. I hope we will see you next time again. Until then, have a great day, a great afternoon, and yeah, goodbye. Cleanness of the washing machine itself? That sounds really awful.